what's your favorite ocean animal? If your answer includes dolphins, sharks, whales, seals, manta rays, or any other large marine animal, you're in luck. Over many years of ocean exploration, OceanX scientists have encountered some pretty spectacular marine megafauna. Here are a few of our favorite megafauna moments. But first, what exactly do we mean by megafauna? Marine megafauna means any large organism living in the ocean. Sharks, turtles, rays, whales, you get the picture. While all of these animals are impressive, let's start with a fan favorite, the dolphin. Bottlenose dolphins are a favorite for a reason. They're curious, intelligent, and have captured the hearts of people around the world. OceanX encountered these bottlenose dolphins in the Cocos Islands. Dolphins communicate with each other by making a series of whistles, clicks, and squeals. Every bottlenose dolphin has its own signature whistle, which it uses to identify itself to other dolphins. The OceanX team often encounters dolphins when we're not necessarily looking for them, often in the ship's wake and bow break. We filmed this pod of spinner dolphins in Fernando de Noronha, an archipelago in Brazil. Dolphins prefer to pursue prey in groups to increase their hunting efficiency. Spinner dolphins are known for spinning their bodies in the air, making as many as seven rotations at a time. Sea turtles. Sea turtles are a keystone species for the global ocean. For instance, leatherback turtles eat lots of jellyfish, so they keep the jellyfish population in check. Sea turtles also help keep coral reef and seafloor habitats healthy. Green sea turtles are primarily herbivores and eat mostly seagrass and algae. This is what gives their cartilage and fat a greenish color. In 2018, Dr. Nathan Robinson recorded some incredible POV footage from a camera strapped to the back of a turtle. Turtle Cam was a project to temporarily mount cameras onto the shells of sea turtles to gain scientific insights into their secret lives. All seven species of sea turtles are endangered. Most turtles never survive past the hatchling stage. Studies tracking their survival rates suggest that only one in 10,000 sea turtles live to be adults. Sea lions. We've encountered sea lions all over the world, including this group in the Sea of Cortez. These curious aquatic mammals live all over the world, except for the Northern Atlantic Ocean. Similar to humans, sea lions are very social. They travel in large groups or colonies. These colonies can have subgroups, which often change over a sea lion's lifetime. While in the waters near Galapagos Islands, we found these sea lions hanging out on the beach. Sea lions rotate their hind flippers to create an elbow, which enables them to scoot around on land much better than other pinnipeds. Pinniped means fin-footed in Latin. This group includes seals, sea lions, and walruses. Sea lions breathe through their nostrils while on land. The nostrils close as they dive into the water. Along with dolphins, sea lions have been trained by the U.S. Navy as part of the Navy's Marine Mammal Program since the Vietnam War. 30 sea lions at San Diego's naval base patrol restricted waters and can find undersea objects faster and better than human divers. Seals. 
At first glance, seals and sea lions may look fairly similar. They're both pinnipeds, which means fin-footed in Latin, but they have a few key differences. Seals have short front flippers. On land, they get around by shimmying on their bellies. Sea lions, on the other hand, have longer flippers that they can use to walk on land. Another difference? Sea lions have visible ear flaps. Seals don't have external ears. Instead, they have tiny holes on the sides of their heads. Seals are more streamlined in the water and less sociable than sea lions. There are 19 seal species that live all over the world. We filmed these seals in Antarctica. Fossil records lead scientists to believe that the ancestors of seals first entered the ocean on the North American West Coast somewhere between 28 and 30 million years ago. Most seals are opportunistic feeders. They have a thick layer of blubber that allows them to go extended periods of time between meals. The leopard seal is a top predator in Antarctic waters. Its only potential threat is orcas. Leopard seals are only found around the South Pole. This makes their interactions difficult to study. Scientists are still trying to figure out how leopard seals choose mates and establish territories. But it's thought that their vocalizations play an important role in finding and selecting a mate. Leopard seals are notorious for eating penguins, but a big portion of their diet is actually comprised of other seabirds, fish, krill, smaller seals, and squid. Whales. We can't finish off a video about marine megafauna without talking about the largest mammal on the planet, the whale. We spotted these sperm whales in the Azores, an archipelago of nine volcanic islands in the North Atlantic off the coast of Portugal. Sperm whales are the largest of the toothed whales. Males can weigh up to 50 tons. Sperm whales hunt for food during deep dives that regularly reach depths of 2,000 feet. They're capable of going even deeper, diving to depths of over 10,000 feet for more than 60 minutes at a time. They're often hunting for giant and colossal squids. 